Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and today I have an amazing video for all of you on each channel lovers out there. Because you see, a few weeks ago I made a video comparing the best stable diffusion anime models out there, and I concluded the video by saying that Novel AI was by far the best one. But ever since the video came out, a little bit of drama happened, because the entirety of the Novel AI models got leaked online, which almost plunged their entire business into the abyss because now everybody and their grandma had access to their entire anime models for absolutely free. But now there is a new sheriff in town, called Anything V3, and apparently it comes from China. So is it good? Is it better than novel AI? Is it dangerous to download? Can you believe it's not better? All these questions and more will be answered in this video. Are you ready? Then let's go. So what is Anything V3? Well, apparently it's a model created by the Chinese community that is based on the novel AI model. Except that this model was mixed with a bunch of other dream booth models also trained on anime images. And apparently it is better than the base novel AI. Which would be very interesting if this was true, because Novel AI itself was already absolutely exceptional. So now let's start by downloading this model. So for this you can click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page. Then you're gonna click on files and versions. And here what you want to do is download anything v3 pruned and anything v3 vae.pt. These are the two files that you need to make this work. And to be able to download this, you can simply click on the first link and then click on download. And this will download the model onto your computer. And then as always, once you have downloaded the two files, you can press Ctrl X to cut it, then go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion. You're gonna paste these two files right here. And then you can launch Stable Diffusion. And once you are inside your Stable Diffusion UI, you can simply click here to select your Anything V3 model. Also, do not forget to choose in settings, do not forget to select the Anything V3.vae. Otherwise, you're not gonna have the best colors for your image. And then in your prompt, do not forget to use the Damburu tags. Because since this model is based on novel AI, Damburu tags are what you need to use in order to get the best results. And if I click on generate, this is the final result. Wow, that is pretty incredible. That is pretty insane. Can you believe that this was generated in a few seconds? Because even for me, after testing it for a few hours, I still cannot believe the quality of the images generated with that model. Absolutely insane. Also, before we download this, if you're wondering if this model is safe, if you watched my previous video on the subject, you will know that Hugging Face is now using two scanning options to make sure that the models uploaded on the hub are safe for the public. And if if you go for example to files and versions and you click on this button right here that says pickle, you see that the pickle import has not detected anything strange. And if you click on the VAE one, you can see that it has detected the PyTorch lightning callbacks and highlighted this in orange, but don't worry this is actually normal for VAE files. And if you want to make sure that these files are okay to download, you can simply use the pickle inspector that I showed you in the previous video. So for this, all you have to do is just click on this button right here to copy model name to clipboard. Then you're gonna use this command, pickle scan dash dash again face, and you're gonna paste the address right after, then select this entire line, control C, then in your folder URL you're gonna type CMD, press enter, make sure that pickle scan is installed on your computer, and then control V and press enter. And what this will do is that it will actually scan every single files that are in this repository. And after a few minutes, it will tell you if there is any files that have malicious codes inside or not. And as you can see, after a few minutes, the scan has finally finished. It has scanned seven files and zero files were infected, meaning that it should be fairly safe to download. Now, of course, it's never gonna be 100% safe, but at least with that, you are decreasing the risk. So now then, how does anything V3 compares to novel AI? Well, I, I gotta say, I think objectively speaking, anything V3 is better than novel AI. In pretty much every single generation that I made, with the same exact seed, the same exact prompt, anything V3 did better than novel AI. Here's an example, two images generated with anything V3 and novel AI, exact same prompt, exact same seed, they are fairly similar in terms of 
the quality of the final image, the colors, the details, but somehow the Anything V3 has a more interesting a more detailed composition than Novel AI. Although it's very difficult to choose which one is really the best, in my opinion, I think the most aesthetically pleasing one is Anything V3. Not saying that Novel AI is not good, but this image is a little bit more simpler, a little bit more generic compared to the dynamic presentation on the Anything V3 image. And here's another example. And again, we basically see the exact same thing, a very similar looking image with a very similar looking character, but somehow the Anything V3 is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and a little bit more dynamic. It concentrates a little bit more on the character rather than the environments. And although the environments look pretty much as good, if not even better, than the one on Novel AI, the way it's presented on the Novel AI side just make it look like a little bit more generic. And here again, third image in the exact same observation. They both look really, really good, but Novel AI is a little bit more simpler and generic compared to the more aesthetically pleasing and dynamic looking composition for the Anything V3. Basically, Anything V3 does anything that Novel AI can do, but just a little bit better. Now, before we continue comparing Anything V3 and Novel AI, let's actually start with the first test that I did, which is the Clip Skip test. Now, for those of you who don't know what Clip Skip is, now it's a little difficult to explain simply, but basically allows you to skip the last layer generated by the neural network. And in theory, this option used in combination with Novel AI based models should actually give you better results, or at least more interesting results. Now, for example, if you look on Novel AI, if you use Clip Skip at 1, which is basically the default one, you get really, really good generation. This is Princess Peach, for example. Really, really good generation with a bunch of different samplers. They look very, very good. A little bit generic, but still looking really good. But once you use Clip Skip 2, you actually start to get something a little bit more original, where the line work is definitely a little bit more pronounced, a little bit thicker, and it makes the final image just a little bit less generic. Now, of course, it's really up to you to see which one you prefer the best, but in my opinion, I kind of like the images produced with Clip Skip 2. Now, I would not suggest using anything above Clip Skip 2 because the final results are just completely horrible. And after Clip Skip 6, 7, this does not look like your character anymore. It just looks completely generic. It really looks like some background character in some random anime. And now, if you compare it with the Anything V3, again, if you look at Clip Skip 1, you can see that we have a bunch of very nicely generated images of Princess Peach. A little generic, again, I'm not exactly a big fan of that style, but I would even say that these images are actually better than the ones produced with Novel AI. And again, if now we try to use Clip Skip 2 instead of Clip Skip 1, we get actually very, very interesting images with, again, a very different style. With a thicker line art, it's just a more cartoony style instead of the generic anime one. And personally, I gotta say, I do enjoy the results that you get with Clip Skip 2 instead of Clip Skip 1. They're definitely a little bit more original. And again, exactly like for Novel AI, everything above Clip Skip 2 is basically a no-go because it just does not look like Princess Peach at the end. So if you do plan on using Clip Skip with anything V3, I would highly suggest that you try to keep it between Clip Skip 1 or 2. And if you want to activate this option in Stable Diffusion and have it at the top of your UI, for this, all you have to do is just click on Settings, scroll down, and then on Quick Settings List, you're gonna paste this command right here. Clip underscore stop underscore at underscore last underscore layers. Then you're gonna click on Apply Settings, and then click on Restart Gradual and Refresh Components. And after restarting Gradual, you will see this option right here. So as I said, either use Clip Skip 1 or Clip Skip 2. Do not go above Clip Skip 2. 
And of course, I forgot to say that if you want to have access to all of these data, everything will be in the description down below. Now, when it comes to sampler and steps for anything D3, I'm kinda happy to report that pretty much every single sampler work pretty well. They're actually very, very stable and consistent, except for DPM fast that does not work below 30 steps and LMS scarers that do not work above 50 steps. But personally, the sampler that I've used the most with this model is Euler Ancestral, which is basically extremely stable and also gives you the most variation compared to the other samplers. And it does not matter the amount of steps that you input, your final image will always look really, really good. And that is really super cool to see. Now, when it comes to the scale test, so what the CFG scale do for the final image is that it kind of looks like a little bit more contrasted compared to an image with a lower CFG scale. If we take, for example, a random sampler, you can see here for DDIM, with a CFG scale at 7, you get this kind of image, and with a CFG scale at 15, you get something very similar, but the final image has actually a little bit more contrast, and that's pretty much it. And I would personally say that the sweet spot for the CFG scale is usually between 10 and 12. So if you want a good looking image, I highly suggest that you kind of play around with the CFG scale between 10 and 12. But try not to overdo it and go above 15. Otherwise, the final image will start to look very, very weird. Now what's really great with this model is that it is not actually only good at making anime girls. It is actually also very very good at creating backgrounds. And the backgrounds created with anything V3 are absolutely fantastic. Look at those two examples. And they are better than the ones created with Novel AI. For example, here is a bedroom created in Novel AI, and here is the same bedroom created in Anything V3. You can clearly see that there is way more detail and way more coherence in the image compared to the one made in Novel AI. Here you have a table, you have a chair, you have a more realistic bed, more realistic windows, you can see here a wooden floor. Basically everything is just way better. Here is another example, here is a kitchen, here is a kitchen in Novel AI, and here is the same kitchen in Anything V3. In Novel AI you do understand that this is supposed to be a kitchen because you see a faucet, but you don't really see anything else. You don't see a stove, you don't see pan, you don't see pots, you don't see anything. This kitchen is absolutely empty. Well, this one, the kitchen done in Anything V3, you can actually see a lot more details. Some sort of oven or washing machine, a stove with pan and pots, just a nice open modern kitchen design. Very, very nice. And here is a bathroom, again, made in Novel AI and the one made in Anything V3, in Novel AI, you don't really understand that this is a bathroom. The bathtub looks really weird. There is very little coherence in that image. There is an empty faucet that is basically linked to nothing. And just the overall coherence of the image is extremely low. And again, this same bathroom in Anything V3 is definitely way, way better. Here you can clearly see a bathtub with a faucet linked to the bathtub. You can see some mirrors, again, two faucets, and anything is just way more coherent and beautiful. So really, again, Anything V3 does what Novel AI does, but just way, way better. And that is really super cool. And what's really great with this type of images is that you can actually use this to create some sort of video game novel. Because I've already played novel game novels that had backgrounds that were worse than some of the images generated with Anything V3. So if you are planning on making a video game novel, well this model can actually serve you very very well. Because you can generate in a few seconds a bunch of backgrounds for your video game. And characters too. Now here's my latest piece of advice for you if you plan on using this model. First, as I said previously in the beginning of the video, make sure that you are using Damburu tags. Because since these models were trained on Damburu images using Damburu tags, to be able to have the best results, you need to use these tags. Now that does not mean that this will not work if you're using some generic stable diffusion prompts, of course, but these models are definitely made with the Damburu tags in mind. Now here's something that I also discovered with the Anything V3 model, 
is that you actually get really, really good results if you use certain negative prompts. So for example, this is an image created in Anything D3. So on this image, I use my generic prompt that I use pretty much all the time, photo portrait of Christina Hendricks, cosmic energy. But for this image, I also used some negative prompts that you will find right here. And by inputting these negative prompts, this is the image that I got, which is absolutely fantastic. But if I actually take away these negative tags and I just leave them blank, this is the result that I get, which is not bad, mind you. But this does not look like an anime image. It's definitely a little bit more anime-like. It's a little bit more cute, but definitely not on the same level as this one, which really looks like this was painted by a professional anime artist. And here's another image, again, with the negative prompts. It gives me this. And if we take away these negative prompts, this is the image that you get, which is pretty much the exact same thing that we saw earlier on. It actually generates something that does not look like an anime image. So for some reason, Inputting these negative prompts somehow sends a signal to the Anything D3 model that makes it create these beautiful anime looking images. So if you are planning on using this model, I highly suggest that you use these negative prompts that you will find on the mirror board. Now then, how would I summarize and conclude this video? Is Anything V3 better than Novel AI? Well, the answer here is actually pretty simple. Well, in my opinion, with pretty much all the tests that I did, Anything V3 always came out on top. So yes, I think that Anything V3 is right now the king of anime models. And if you want to generate anime images, this is definitely the model that you want to download. And there you have it, folks. Now you should know how to use the best stable diffusion anime models on the planet. So go out there and make some cute anime girls. And there you go. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. Congratulations also to this week's ARI challenge winner, one Tron for you for his amazing Chewbacca and Anne Solo in the Muppet Show submission. Super cool image, really well done. And if you do want to participate to our ARI challenge that we do every week on Discord, you can click the link in the description down below to join my Discord server and maybe you too can be featured in the next video. That being said, thank Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!